Phnom Penh is a small city. It's growing and it's changing rapidly. When we first arrived, um, the roads were dirt roads. Now everywhere's tarred and it's becoming much more sophisticated but in a really nice way. You, your quality of life here is, is just fabulous. Um, my name's Claire Webster and um, I've been at ISPP since uh, 2002 so I'm just starting my 10th year of living in Phnom Penh. And I'm Brian, um, I'm Claire's husband. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I've also been here for this is my 10th year. So you're looking at my new house, I've just moved here and um, we've downgraded. We used to live in a big five bedroom house, two, uh, seven bathrooms, two living rooms, two balconies and a garden and we've now downsized to our small cute house that we live in now. So how would I describe Phnom Penh? I think it's, um, it is a very colourful place. It's, it's, got, it's too extreme. There is a lot of poverty in Cambodia and you can see that in some parts of Phnom Penh and then you can go around another street and it's there's computer shops, there's internet shops, and there's a real disparity between some of what you see here. But that, I think, makes it very exciting. It's certainly not boring. I mean, it's a very, it's a very interesting, exciting city to be in. And I love the river. I think the river gives it its charm. It's more like a lake out there. Um, we do lots of trips on, on, the, on the river. You can get cheap boat trips. Yeah, well, we can continue talking about this, but it's probably the best thing to do is to jump in at the local tuk-tuk and look at some of the some of the uh, places that we go. Uh, well, this is the route to school from our house, so yeah. we're really close. So all this building here is, um, is part of school. So we live right close to school. Getan, Botsadam, and Moiti Botsuen. And this is Norodom. Phnom Penh now has lots of coffee shops. They're really into coffee. This is Gloria Jeans. Gloria That's very popular with um, the kids, they go there after school and they meet and they do their homework. Uh, so we're off to the Russian market, uh, to Tukov. And um, this is where you can, um, they're used to selling to expats. So um, there's, like if you want to buy clothes, they have larger sizes. Um, and they sell virtually everything that you need. Vegetables and yeah. fruit. This, these are the best places to go. And maybe spiders. Um, yeah, I buy from this lady. I buy silk. Yeah. And um, normally um, presents for home, but I've been here so often that everybody's got everything. Um, so. Um, she sells really good quality yes. silk and you can buy Chinese silk, um, cottons, Cambodian silk, linen. This section here, you, you can buy material at the market or you can buy it at the market and then you can um, bring your stuff um, here and they copy or they'll, um, you know, you can bring your own designs and they'll try and make So, these are really good. Claire's here all the time, I never come in. <laughs> One of the things that I, I think is uh, really nice about Cambodia is that the Khmer people are very nice. They're very friendly. Um, they have no reason to be, but they are always very friendly. I think apart from the school and the social activities in Phnom Penh, the thing that's kept me here really is, is the Cambodian people. They've been through so much turmoil over the last 20, 30 years and yet there's still this smile that comes out. And it's a very genuine smile that over the time that I've been in Cambodia, the city has changed immeasurably. There's a huge range of excellent restaurants, very reasonably priced. Wherever you go in the city, there's just this uh, sort of frenetic kind of energy going in and out of waves of people and waves of traffic and waves of commerce and, and you know, waves of great poverty and waves of great opulence. It's not just chaos, it's an organized chaos. And of course the people here, they are so nice. Every single person we have met so far have been really nice to us. And, and local people in, in markets or tuk-tuk drivers. It's really a pleasure meeting them and, and getting to know them. Cambodia is perfect. 
I'm so happy to be here. I like the culture in the sense that I think it's very interesting and old. Uh, the people are nice. It's very different. And uh, I kind of like the vibe here.